Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of news and opinions for the week, or for the past week. Anyways, recording of, uh, is it September already? September the 5th. And uh, so I got a couple things I talk about, try to make this quick, because I want to enjoy my labor, is it Labor Day? Labor Day weekend. I gotta check the calendar. Is it Labor Day weekend? Yes, it is Labor Day weekend. So the question is, are the rioters and looters, are they gonna come out this weekend and riot and loot on Labor Day weekend, or are they gonna take the weekend off because it's Labor Day weekend? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, so let's. First thing we'll talk about is Michael Forrest Renault. Is it Renault? Renault. I don't know how to say his last name, but anyways, uh, this is the person who basically ambushed, okay, ambushed Aaron J. Danielson out in Portland, shot him twice. I think it was two shots. So I did see some videos. It turns out that it might have been an ambush, that he could have been waiting, lying, waiting somewhere and basically ambushed Aaron J. Danielson. On top of that, uh, he was killed in a shootout. I don't know if it's a shootout, but he was killed while um, while he was trying to, by the uh, authorities, I think federal authorities, with the help of the sheriffs. Uh, let me see, FBI and U.S. Marshals over at Pierce County, uh, with along with the Pierce County Sheriffs, uh, he was shot. looked like he was fleeing or evading while he was uh, going for his gun. And I guess that's when they shot him. So he is uh, no, longer, uh, no longer alive, so he was shot dead. So that is the news I'll be talking about here. Uh, I'll give you my thoughts on it, and we'll see what uh, what you all think about it. Uh, next thing I'll talk about is China, India. Man, there's a lot of conflict there, a lot of conflict. Um, there's also a lot of things going out s between China and India. A lot of other countries are kind of taking sides here. We're trying. We're, I'm seeing something. That, that is worrying, that I'm worried about. Um, of course, uh, in conflict with China, India will polarize the world to choose sides and potential global conflict. Global conflict. Last thing I'll talk about is school is starting. It has started for some of my kids. And uh, they've been doing online, but they will eventually go back to school, actually go to school, wake up in the morning. I think my oldest will drive, so she'll, she'll be driving the car. My youngest, I think I'll start riding the uh, red mini step through with the We Ride Copilot biker, take, you know, basically bike to the school and come back. So I'll be doing that again. Elementary school is not that far away. But eventually, everyone's going to be going back to school, elementary, middle, and high school, October 21st. All right, so let's talk about Michael Forrest Renault. Renault, I guess. Uh, apparently, he was uh, self-proclaimed uh, ski instructor. Uh, there were some reports that he might have been a, in the military, but nothing confirmed. Uh, nothing confirmed yet. I don't think. I don't think there is any record showing that he was in the military or not. I've read many things. Uh, the video footage that I saw looked like to me, all right, looked like to me, that that was murder. That was in no way, shape, or form self-defense. I just don't. When I first saw it. It didn't look like self-defense. Uh, his claim was, and I, I think he had an interview on, on Vice News, that he was defending his friend um, from apparently what he thought was either a knife or a gun, but turned out to be nothing more than pepper spray. So if you shoot someone, 
and there's no knife or gun, there's just a pepper spray, you're wrong. You made a mistake. You murdered someone. <laughs> you might have thought it was self-defense, but you murdered someone. Um, and it turns out later that he might have been waiting, lying and waiting in a parking garage somewhere and basically ambushed Aaron J. Danielson. So that 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 information has kind of come out. Um, so anyways, and, and plus he does have a record, a criminal record of some sorts. So it, it doesn't really look good when you have some kind of criminal record and um, you're out there shooting somebody that has nothing to do with your own self-defense, but someone else's self-defense, which in some situation can be legal. But in this case, I mean, there's, there's no reason to shoot a gun. And so, uh, yeah, it was, it was murder. And anyways, uh, the fact that he was trying to evade arrest, and I believe he did have a gun while he was evading arrest, he might have gone for his gun or had a gun with him when, when he was shot dead. So um, I don't know if, that, if that's justice or not. In a lot of people's eyes, that might be justice. Uh, in a lot of people's eyes, this, this might be unfair in either case, um, what I find interesting is no, nobody is rioting and looting for Michael Forrest Renal. I think because he was white. If he was maybe black, people would be upset. But because he was white, even though he stood up for the radical left, stood up for BLM, he had a BLM tattoo on his neck. That's how they identified him. Even though he stood up for Antifa, right, he dedicated himself. No one's, uh, the radical left is doing nothing. All right. That's how hypocritical the radical left are. All right. Now I'm going to move on to China real quick. China, India. Conflict. Conflict at the border. Uh, if this continues, it could possibly lead to a proxy war of some sorts and then eventually drag in the rest of the superpowers where we, or the rest of the world versus China. It seems more like, you know, the, it seems like the world versus China at this point. I, I just don't see how China can, um, you know, influence the world like they wanted to and try to take over the world like they wanted to. A lot of people are abandoning the CCP government of China. And uh, if this continues, they could get more desperate and, yeah, they could start lashing out. They could start lashing out. Uh, my feelings are uh, that's something to watch out for. Also, other areas as well. You know, you got um, Turkey and uh, Greece. I mean, there's a lot of things that are going around all over the world that could trigger global conflict. And that's something we should all watch out for and be prepared. All right, last thing I'll talk about is school is starting. Hooray. Thank goodness. At least in my local area where I am. And uh, I... I'm hoping that everything goes well. I do have concerns. I'll talk a little bit more about my concerns with the coronavirus in my video of uh, COVID-19 videos I do every, uh, I think every Sunday. Um, I do anticipate infections to go up during the winter, this fall and winter. So I am a little concerned, but at the same time, you know, uh, kids have to go back to school. All right, kids got to go back to school. And uh, I, I do worry about them. But I think if they just take the proper controls, proper precautions, facial coverings, I think everything is okay. And uh, my youngest, will I'll be taking her to school and from school, so I'll make sure she washes her hands, wears a mask and all that stuff. Uh, my oldest will be driving to school, not taking the bus, and hopefully she'll wear a mask and wash her hands. So we'll try to be very cautious. Anyways, I'm going to conclude this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, share, subscribe. For And this is the conclusion of my news and opinion for the week. Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye.